Hello everyone, Wolfie here back with another Hero Basics video where I take a hero from Gigantic and tell you exactly what their abilities do at level 1. No upgrades, no talents, just jumping right into the game. This time we have Tmat. Tmat is a ranged damage dealer with the tag Shooter. So, as you might expect, she kind of revolves around the damage potential of the LMB, and then she has other abilities that actually increase her damage threshold. I actually do think she's kind of a hybrid out of all of the shooters. Uh, between a shooter and even a, a mage or a caster because the the right mouse button and her e especially also do have great damage potential uh, but before we go into that let's go over her stats t has 1700 health and 15 armor for a long time i actually thought she had 25 armor she doesn't it's just I, it must have just been her robot shell the sleek new design i thought it was heavily armored but it's not let's start with the left mouse button which is called energy blast Fires an energy blast. It deals 50, uh, 150 damage pre mitigation and actually travels really freaking far. It is a hit scan blast that immediately does damage to the first target that it hits. Uh, pretty, pretty wide, forgiving area, like kind of space. It just hits whatever is directly in front of you. And uh, it does have a little bit of damage fall off, but it's not super noticeable until you get pretty far away. Like, that did 127, but when I was closer, I also did 127. But if you go really far away, like, if you're way back here, then you'll notice it's doing less. And even, like, 20 damage less, really not that big of a deal. And look, you can even hit some of the things over there. That's how that's how stupid far this, uh, this ability is. So, uh, yeah, she definitely plays the long range uh, and and is not punished for being too far away. Anyway, let's go to the right mouse button now. It is called Homing Missiles. Hold down to lock uh, lock targets in and load multiple missiles. Increase up to five uh, within three seconds of holding down the button. And every after five seconds of not using the ability, you restore a missile every two seconds. Missiles also have a very long range. Missiles that are get uh, missiles that get fired deal uh, seventy five damage on impact, and then apply a two second burn that does fifty damage per second. Now, this ability is interesting because you can just real quick launch. Like, it locks on basically right away. So you can really quick just lock on and then fire. Or if you hold it down, every time your little square there pings, that's the number of missiles that you've locked on. So this will fire all five towards Gnosis. And these will, th this has the same, like, distance as the LMB. So it can lock on from really far away. And you can basically just hit a little bit of everybody, like, on the field if you really wanted to. Like, just all this. But it's 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 important to know that the, uh, the missiles will follow a very specific path. Or, like, they'll, they'll try to go the shortest distance possible to, to whoever you've locked them on. And if, uh, if the enemy, like, turns a corner, because they don't, they don't move very fast. So if the enemy turns a corner, goes behind a wall, uh, seeks shelter that missile will uh, get destroyed along the path. I also believe that if they hide behind somebody, the missile will get the, yeah, the missile will uh, hit whoever's first if they just happen to be in line of the uh, missile coming towards them. So pretty uh, pretty cool. It's important to know, uh, as said, the, the missiles will replenish on their own. And the number of missiles you can see is that little tick counter just to the bottom right of your uh, target indicator. But the... Missiles will not begin respawning until you stop using the RMB. It does not stop if you're in combat. It doesn't stop, or yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't stop you from regaining missiles if you're in combat. It doesn't stop you from regaining missiles if you fire your LMB. You just have to. Uh, you just have to, you know, not use the right mouse button. And it's it's basically. It, it seems as though it's five seconds after a like after the last missile gets destroyed. I don't know why that would be the case i just figured it's like right after you launch the missile then it would start the uh internal timer but it seems as though so long as a missile is in flight then that cooldown is continuing because that might take a little while longer yeah it's it's hard really to tell either way you can store up to five you can launch all or only one and it's probably a better like since it's since they all apply the same burn the same damage source it's probably better just to fire one or two at somebody and then wait for the burn to end, and then fire another, and then just keep LMBing between your right mouse button fires. 
because you're not you're not making the burn longer if you throw all five at once it's just that initial burst next we're going to talk about team at e which is called emp fire is an explosive ball on hit or the end of the range it explodes and deals damage in an area of effect all enemies that are in the area will be applied major shock the major shock deals 20 damage per second for three seconds and then on the last tick it also explodes with a 60 damage aoe the uh, emp also does 100 damage uh, in the initial impact and it looks like this so you fire it and then it explodes and everyone that was in that little explosion will get the shock they'll get the impact uh damage everyone will get the same because it, it doesn't it doesn't have um there are some other aoe's in the game that will do slightly less damage if they're further away from the point of impact uh that is not the case for emp uh, everyone in that explosion radius will do the same and an interesting thing that i learned actually while recording this it has this weird fall off of looking like it goes in a like it goes in a straight line for a while and then after a while after a second it just drops off and then just plummets like a rock so watch watch it just goes straight forward and then just falls after after going the uh i think i think it's this distance the 15 meters it just plummets to the ground and it still has a forward trajectory it doesn't just suddenly shear a 90 degree angle and fall straight down but it's important to know that if uh, if something's further away it's not just going to reach uh so it is a very slow moving projectile but it's also kind of forgiving it's fairly large and uh you know it's if you're about this far away compensate for uh compensate for where they might be going you kind of want to use this at a much closer range but it's it's still pretty easy to land and it's pretty cool teammate's last basic ability is her q which is called thrusters fly it in uh, nine meters forward quickly over the course of two seconds so uh this is not something that's directional it's just kind of you you f you basically fly forward and then you you more or less have you more or less have control of where you're going just so long as you're going forward. So there there's a bit of a turn radius where you're semi locked in place. It's similar to Margrave's charge where you're you are going forward a direction, but you don't really have full control. It's it's this slight tilt of left or right. Uh, another important thing about this is that it is a it jumps you into the air and then propels you forward. So it is it is a fixed kind of distance of how far this moves you forward or sorry upwards and then forward uh so it's actually better if you want to get to a higher ledge like that one this this wouldn't propel me high enough but if i start at a higher point then jump and then do this i can get up there not a problem it's similar to similar to charnock's q that way actually finally we have tmat's ult which is called overclocked Rapidly shoots and launches missiles. Missile impact applies 50 damage per second, and the impact of the missiles themselves do 75. Each focus point increases the attack duration starting at 1.5, then to 2.3, and then finally 2.8 seconds. Rapid shot damage increases starting at 75, then 100, and 125 damage per second uh, with each individual attack. And then the missile damage also increases the impact damage 75 110 150 and then the finally the amount of missiles that are launched over the course of the ult rank one has three rank two has four and rank three has five missiles so the very the very easiest way to explain this uh you're basically using your left mouse button and right mouse button at the same time you're just firing a rapid shot barrage of your left mouse button shots and then every every like couple like point five like every couple point two point a quarter of a second or so you're firing a uh a missile and the missiles will go basically at whoever is near the center of your cursor and this also hovers you in the air and allows you to move it it doesn't say that in the description for whatever reason but it it propels you upward and has you start launching things similar to or result actually uh but it looks like this you can see it does a ton of damage a lot of damage there and that was only rank two like you know it's it's uh it's really good um and it's it's important to know that you can kind of distribute the damage to multiple targets if you really feel like it but i think generally you want to use this on just one person if you can and then just sort of sort of have them get shut down as quickly as possible uh, but if you want to do a couple shots on Nasus and then say I wanted to turn my attention to the Motiga, uh, the missiles that are launched, you know, 
they'll go towards whoever the cursor's aimed at. So I can have some shots there, some shots there. But it, uh, it, it's important that the missiles will still home in, just like your right mouse button missiles. So those are much easier to hit. Uh, and with the with the actual overclock blasts themselves, you do have to aim those um, and be on the cur like have your cursor on whever you're trying to hit. And that's it for Tmat's abilities. She has uh, she has a lot of damage potential at medium and long ranges, and even short ranges. She's got a great escape. Uh, lots of, you know, single target and AOE potential. She's just really all around super good. She's probably one of the best characters in the game. Uh, and yeah, she's, she's kind of nuts. But if you enjoyed watching, make sure you leave a like. If you learned something new, make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, leave a comment if you so wish. I do enjoy having conversations with you guys in the comments. And thank you for watching yet again. I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good day.